My chassis renders great a misbox. I'm growing spring onions. They are suited for Texas weather and grow faster than regular onions. My grandma has a vegetable garden in her backyard. The reason somebody would want to grow a garden is because of needs like oxygen and food, or maybe for the looks of the garden. Things that are needed to create a garden space are box with holes, water, and sunlight. Things that a plant needs include soil, sunlight, air, space, and space, and water. But rocks, compost, and fertilizer can help with plant growth. All plants need sunlight, but they all need different amounts of it. Too much sunlight is bad for a plant and will make the plant dry. Plant parts. Roots, roots anchor the part in the soil. They also draw water and minerals from the soil to make food for the plant. Stems. Stems transport the water and nutrients to the rest of the plant. The cells that carry the food are called phloem. The cells that carry the water are called exons. Leaves. The leaves make food for the plant to eat. Leaves can be simple or compound. Simple leaves are made of a single leaf blade connected to the stem. Compound leaves are made of separate leaflets attached by the petal to the stem like an ash or a locust. Fruit. The fruit of an apple tree is an apple. The purpose of an apple is, is for food or to eat. Three parts of a seed are called embryo, endosperm, and seed cone. Types of plants. Herbaceous plants are plants that most likely have soft green stems and die after one year. The three types of herbaceous plants are Campula, Latifolia, Geranium, Pistolium, and Iris Latifolia. Plants that are woody are usually trees or shrubs. Woody plants are suitable to live for years to come. Three examples of woody plants are oak trees, vines, and roses. An annual plant is a plant that performs its entire life cycle from seed to flower within a single growing season. The life cycle of an annual is one season. Three examples of an annual are marigolds, larkspur, and nostril. A perennial is a type of plant that grows for many seasons. They complete their life cycle in more than two years. Three examples of a perennial are hertia, nepeta, and ornamental. A biennial is a type of plant that takes two years to complete their life cycle. A biennial requires all, all or part of two years to complete its life cycle. Three examples of a biennial are silver beets, black-eyed susans, and sweet williams. Spring onion reasoning. The purpose of my garden is to grow food. Spring onions best fit my purpose because they best suit Texas weather. I will grow spring onions in my garden. The type of onions I will grow are spring onions. Some of the problems I may encounter with my garden are weeds. I can plan for these problems by covering up common spots that weeds keep growing in with mulch. Some of the rules of gardening I will need to follow are to pick a sunny spot and to take care of my soil. My garden might change over time by adding different types of onions. I can plan for these changes by having a space for each type of onion. Some environmental concerns related to gardening are using chem chemicals, not caring for your soil, overwatering, and disencouraging pollinators. Spring onions. The name of my vegetable is a spring onion. Its, its scientific name is a lunstepa. A spring onion's life cycle is from a seed to a plant and then a dormant bulb in their first year. The following spring, the bulb will begin to grow again and soon produce a flower spike. Spring onions are biennial. The growth cycle of a life cycle of a spring onion is from seed to plant and then a dormant bulb in their first year. The following spring, after being exposed to cold but sub level winter temperatures, the bulb will begin growing again and soon produce a flower, a flower spike. Scientists has dis have discovered that onions are part of the water lily family. Onions can also be grown year round. They are also sometimes called green onions. Designing a garden. The red and white divide in my design 
are red onions. The spacing requirements for red onions are 2 to 8 inches apart. The green in, in the design are spring onions. The spacing requirements for spring onions are 4 through 6 inches apart. The yellow in the design are yellow onions. The spacing requirement for yellow onions are 2 through 5 inches apart. The orange in the design are white onions. The spacing requirement for white onions are 2 through 5 inches apart.